Hi guys, this video demonstrates how to control JMS Pro with Minus Handle. For how to install robot arm on slider wheel, please check previous videos. After assembly, connect power adapter to DC hole on robot arm. Then, connect the handle receiver to USB port on Jason Nano. Having inserted the handle receiver, turn on robot. It takes one minute and a half for robot to boot up. Please be patient. When buzzer sounds, robot boots up successfully. Then, you can take out your handle. You need to prepare two AAA batteries and put them into this battery slot. Turn on the handle to start controlling the robot. When this indicator turns green, it means that handle connects the robot successfully. If handle doesn't connect to robot in 1 minute, or you don't use the handle after it connects to robot in 5 minutes, handle enters sleep mode, you can press start button to activate the handle. Ok, let's check how to use this handle to control robot. These two joysticks are useless. On the side of handle, there are four buttons, L1, L2, R1, and R2. L1 and R1 buttons are used to control slider rail to move left and right. Rest buttons are for controlling robot arm. Start controlling slider rail first. Press R1 button, slider rail moves right. Press L1 button, it moves left. Pay attention, slider ray has limit position protection. When it moves to the limit position, it emits this sound. And you need to stop pressing R1 button. Otherwise, the slider ray will be damaged. Go on, use rest buttons to control robot arm. There are two control modes, including individual servo mode and coordinate mode. Under individual servo mode, you can use handle to control single servo. Under coordinate mode, you can control the whole robot arm to move along S, Y, and Z axis. Pay attention, the handle defaults to individual servo mode. Try individual servo mode first. Up and down buttons are used to control number 2 servo. Left and right buttons are used to control number 1 servo. Triangle and quartz button are used to control number 3 servo. Square and circle buttons are used to control servos on such a nozzle. L2 button is used to control air pump to start pumping. If you want air pump to stop pumping, press R2 button. 
press Start button, robot arm covers initial posture. OK, check how to control robot arm under coordinate mode. Press Select button to switch the mode. At this time, Barca will emit two bits, which means that the mode is switched to coordinate mode. You can see that the whole robot arm will move together. If you want to switch to individual servo mode, press left button again. At this time, Bouncer emit one bit, which means that the present mode is coordinate mode. Switch back to coordinate mode to check functions of rest buttons. S positive axis correspond to its left side. Y positive axis correspond to its back. Z positive axis correspond to its top. Press right button, robot arm moves in the direction of negative S axis. Press left button, it moves in the direction of positive S axis. Press up button, it moves in the direction of negative Y axis. Press down button, it moves along positive Y axis. Triangle button is used to control negative Z axis. Horse button is for controlling positive Z axis. Square and circle buttons are used to control suction nozzle. L2 and R2 buttons are used to control air pump. Having gotten functions of these buttons, use handle to control robot arm to pick a block.